but yeah, um, people uh, used to recognize Rob as Ranger Rob, and I used to say, because of his, his uh, dinner theater job for kids at uh, Magic Mountain, I used to say, wow, Ranger Rob's more successful than you. <laughs> and he would, he would say, yeah, and, and uh, then thus a movie was born. So, um, I, Tim, we took the idea to Tim. I originally thought, thought about directing it, and I have a little experience acting, but directing, no, I don't know a thing about directing. And uh, So I took it. Uh, Rob met Tim on a film, and I uh, thought, well, would he you think he'd be interested? And we took it to him, and Tim just leaps and bounds uh, it's black. It's literally black and white from what I expected to come out of it because I've been a part of some films that have never been finished and <laughs> flops and so on. And um, Tim Tim gave it like just great dimension and um, uh, and came up with ideas. I mean, it's it's my script to a T, but he just gave it a, just a, a world of vision and dimension. And for that, I'm eternally thankful. And Rob and I are very thankful. And if anyone's looking to hire a director. <laughs> It doesn't get any better than that guy. And we got Corey, too. Yeah, and yes, I Corey. 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 And then Corey. <laughs> Corey, and Corey and Tim are, um, the you know, hiking up and down the mountain with the camera. And I mean, talk about an unsung hero. Corey's. Now it's sung. Now it's sung. So thank you to Tim and Corey. Also, I'd like to thank the cast and the crew and my girlfriend, Lucy Wong, who designed the puppet. <laughs> and um, thanks everyone for turning out tonight. I was really impressed with this turnout. So. Good turnout. Great. <laughs> I just want to thank everyone for coming. That's it. You're welcome. <laughs> Takes of that whole scene, and he was just like, I, I can't eat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we did a lot of the, that, those type things, buying stuff in the Gregorian. And it's remarkable, I mean, we all know this, but it's remarkable what you can find on the internet because oh, yeah. we found everything the cardboard cutout, the lunch boxes. I mean, so many things. Say lunchboxes.com, I don't know you wouldn't think of that. Lunchboxes.com. Yeah. <laughs> but a lot of that. 
<laughs> Any more questions at all? Right here in the front. Uh, when, when Andy was interviewing the people on that Walk of Fame, whatever, uh -huh. whatever that's called, I'm sorry, the Hollywood Walk of Fame, were they, did you, did, were they actors or did you? No, they were just random people I would walk up to with a camera crew and I would say, hey, did you grow up watching Red Rock? And, and uh, you know, there's a lot we didn't put up and uh, a lot of those interviews go on forever. And, um, <laughs> It's a lot of footage. There's a lot of stuff we put up there that goes on for like 40 minutes. There's like you and um, the Muppet. Uh, Elmo. Elmo. Yeah. Elmo. Yes. Elmo had a lot to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elmo had a lot to say. Just singing and dancing with Elmo for a while. And didn't make the cut. I'm sorry. <laughs> All I had to do was give Rob an audience, and an audience of thousands of people at Hollywood Highland was pretty, pretty interesting being out there for that. I saw another hand somewhere. Me. Anybody? <laughs> My question is for Tim also. Uh oh. <laughs> um, I was really impressed with your work, and I can only imagine how rigorous it must have been for you to like take out so much time to devote to the project and also work full time. Was that really challenging for you? Um, good question. Thank you. Yes. Um, that's part of the reason why it took two years to make, um, <laughs> actually. And that was really not just for myself, but for everyone. It was um, trying to wrangle schedules of like sometimes 15, 20 people. A lot of people. You know, um, finding a guy and being the guy with the stripper pole to show up. Yeah. For instance. Is Vinny here? Once again, internet. Oh, yeah. Vinny. Come take a stand. Please. Stand up, baby. Hey. <laughs> AllStarStages.com, you can rent a stripper pole. <laughs> Spice up that the guy who delivers it. Oh, I'm sure you don't have But um, no, but to answer your question, I mean, really, it was it was difficult because I constantly ran into not being able to give enough time um, to the film, just because work and I work, you know, at least 12 hours a day every day. Um, not every day, Monday through Friday. But I mean. Um, but literally, it was um, being able to do this, especially earlier in the film when I was working in a certain place, some people may know about, um, it was very liberating. <laughs> yes. And um, it was, I mean, yeah, it was hard, but it was very worth it because I think we have a great film and you know, building the relationships that we did um, was totally worth it, so, yeah. And one night, you worked all night at Paramount for us. I did, I had to go in um, after my normal shift and work um, another 12 hours, so I worked about 20 hours straight, and then showed up at 7 a.m. to shoot all day. What wow. a ham! Any other questions at all? 